So I recently watched Zack Snyder's Justice League on HBO. Now, if you don't know what this is, what happened was back in 2017 or whenever they finished the first Justice League, Zack Snyder was the director. Well, in post-production when they were editing and all that kind of stuff, unfortunately, his daughter Autumn committed suicide. So he left the project and so they brought in uh, Josh Whedon to finish it. So they had reshoots and everything else and so it ended up being kind of what Warner Brothers like and then kind of what they told Josh Whedon to do and so it wasn't very good. Like I didn't like it. I don't know if y'all liked it. It was just, it could have been better. So what happened was um, the crew started talking about, hey, you know, what if we got to see Zack Snyder's vision? You know, what would that look like? You know, the movie should be shown as he originally intended which it should be. If you are a director, then you have taken this thing or you should take it from start to finish, right? So the end product, if Zack Snyder wasn't there, it's not gonna be what he wanted, okay? So Warner Brothers said, hey, we got fans, we got the crew, everybody wants to see Zack Snyder's version, so I will go ahead and do it, okay? They were reluctant at first, but then they decided to do it, so then they did it, and then they also said, hey, we're gonna tack on, we're gonna make this a series and tack on like six episodes after this. Well, in January of this year, they decided not to do that. I don't know why, whatever. But let's get to the movie, okay? The movie is four hours. I watched it on HBO Max. Um, I guess it was released in the theaters too. Four hours, be prepared. And that sounds like a long movie. And it was, but it didn't seem like it because it was good. I really liked it. It was slow. It was allowed to breathe. Uh, it was some great acting. The backstories were excellent. I mean, it was, it was off the chain, I thought. Now, one strange thing that you might notice is that it is in a four by three instead of a 16 by nine. Now, if you don't know the difference, HD is 16 by nine, which is a rectangle, okay? The old school TVs that we used to have, the square boxes, that's four by three. So instead of black lines being at the top and the bottom, which is what you see usually with movies, it's gonna be on the sides. And yeah, that's weird, because you wanna see like the rest of what's in this scene, but you get used to it. And once you get used to it, I mean, it's cool. Like you don't even think about it. And so it took us, my wife and I probably took like three settings to watch the whole thing, but we were interested and we wanted to finish it. And for her, like watching something like that, if it's a superhero film and it's that long, she might be like, hey, you can watch the rest without me. But no, she was like, yeah, I wanna see it. So it was excellent. The acting was excellent. The storyline, it was different. They also did some reshoots, so they added some stuff. So I thought everything was really on point. Now, a couple of complaints that I have, cause you know, I always got some, you know, Ben Affleck's Batman, you know, I liked him as Batman initially, but in this movie to me, He's too bulky. Uh, Batman is not bulky like that. Yeah, he's big and he's strong and he's tall, but he's agile. And so th this Batman lacked that and I wasn't really feeling that, okay? But that was the only thing about Batman. Uh, Wonder Woman was doing her thing. Now, if you saw the Wonder Woman movie, I thought that, that the last one, the 1984 or whatever, I thought that was no good, okay? There were too many special effects. All of her moves were just, they looked CGI. It was, I didn't like it. And here, in this Zack Snyder movie here, oh, she was doing some things. I mean, she was going off. Well, one thing I didn't like is every time they showed her doing something, they played this same music with all these, I don't know, it was like, it, it's like everybody had their own music and she had her own music and they just played it like one too many times for something when she did something. It was just over the top. That's the only complaint that I have about that. Um, everything else I thought was really well put together. It was really his vision as intended. And if this movie was released, then it would have made like a lot of money, which I'm sure it's making a lot of money now, but I'm just saying back then. So he did his thing. You know, I, I feel bad for him and his family and what happened to his daughter. Apparently she was 20 years old, um, but I'm glad he was able to come back to the fold and finish this because fans and the crew really wanted to see it and he really lived up to what everybody wanted to see. So if you have a chance, definitely check it out. Zack Snyder's Justice League, all right? Till next time, I am Lag, Marlon Lag.